uh, hello YouTube audience. Uh, today is early August. Uh, I I think August the four, uh, twenty twenty one. And uh, today I'm going to do some quick work on my lime bonsai. It's a Persian lime, uh, which I think is a cross between a lemon and a lime. Uh, so it's a semi cascade uh, bonsai, and uh, I've been growing it in my office. Uh, for the past year and it has grown all these big outdoor leaf, leaves uh, indoor leaves and uh, For the next one or two months, I'm going to put it outdoor uh, Instead of keeping it indoor um, Hopefully it's going to gain a lot of strength strength and be very happy uh, being out uh, So before that I'm going to do a pruning and partial defoliation of the, the plant uh, Because my balcony is very windy and uh, I'm worried that uh, With these big leaves, it's just going to get blown too hard and the branches are going to break um, so that's why I'm going to do a very hot pruning and defoliation of the tree and hopefully it grow most of the leaf uh, new and um, uh, hopefully it's going to give us small leaves and more ramifications so the plan uh, is very very healthy now so uh, I can do I think I can do a good amount of work on it um, so I'm just going to get started uh, you can see the top of the tree is very very strong so I'm going to prune the top harder. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to defoliate it. I'm going to remove all these old leaves, very big leaves. I would, uh, with the exception of maybe some weaker branch that I want it to grow uh, Okay I'm just going to focus on defoliation right now so that the structure is re revealed So I'm currently smelling a very strong citrus smell from the pruning of the plant. Uh, this is very typical of the citrus tree. So this, this little branch I wanted to grow, so I'm only going to remove the older leaves. I'm going to remove the new leaves. This is a very strong downward hanging branch, which I'm going to remove all the leaves off. I believe the plant is very strong, so I can remove a lot of the leaves. And because the root is powerful enough to support all these leaves, when all these leaves are removed, there is an excess of energy, the root. And what happened is the root 
should push more ramification. It should push more branches to grow. That's, or at least that's the hope. So now this cascading branch, I'm not going to remove all of its leaf. I'm just going to remove some of it. This whole leaf I'm going to remove. Um, for these, I may just because the lower branches, they are weaker, so I don't want to remove all its leaves. Maybe I will just cut part of the leaf. Instead of a full deformation, I am going to do a partial deformation here because I don't want because the, the cascading branch is relatively weak, and I don't want it to cut further weaken. a top branch that I'm leaving because that's my future apex. I want it to gain some strength. Okay, so the defoliation is done. Um, now I'm just going to clean up some of the old stumps. very stumpy. I don't want the thing to be in the way. Okay, so now I'm going to start pruning. So first very, this very long and strong upward growing branches I'm going to prune off. This one I'm going to prune. This one I'm just going to prune at the tip, tip in case it uh, broke out. This long one I'm going to prune it hard. Uh, I'm going to prune off all these long things. And uh, this is also a long one. Just going to prune it back to three old leaves because I find that the lime tree, if you prune it back to a leaf, the the leaf scar that's closest to where you prune, a lot of times they do not butt out. Um, so I'm going to leave some extra just going to prune it very slightly at least this weak branch um, and also this side branch I don't really need this side branch I have leave it for a long time and it just didn't grow any leaves so I don't think I need it anymore. I'm just going to get a pruner to prune it concave 
for the trunk so that it will heal flesh in the future. Okay. I think that will do it in the future. It's going to heal pretty well. So I'm also going to seal. I'm going to seal that. My sealant is uh, downstairs again, so I'm just going to go and grab the sealant. Just going to get a little bit of sealing. Seal that wood. So before I touch the sealing, I will wet my fingers so that the sealant does not attach to my fingers. If my finger is dry, the sealant will just um, attach to my finger as well as it attached to the trunk. So the sealant kind of doesn't work. So this is the sealant. It's supposed to be a professional bonsai sealant. So it should be very good. Um, okay. Um, so this is the amount of leaves I get rid of. Basically, most of the leaves I get rid rid of. Uh, that's pretty nice. Probably going to clean up this top. Part, which uh, I don't think it's going to grow anything. That's a, just a stub. Okay. And, uh, I probably will need some more sealant. do with this tree and now I'm uh, now what I want to do is I will put it uh, put it out in the full sun I think, I don't think I need this branch. This branch is just uh, crossing everywhere, so I don't need it. Okay. Okay, it looks better without, without that branch. So... Let's see if I can slightly clean it up. Mm, that's 
little bit difficult to clean because it's too close to the other branch. Yeah, I think that's what I can do unless I have a carving tool. I don't have a carving tool, so uh, I will leave it as it is. Let's see. Okay. So this is my Persian lime tree. And uh, this is the work I'm going to do for this summer. And I'm going to put it out in full sun. And uh, hopefully it will grow a bunch of outdoor leaves, which is much smaller leaves. Uh, and uh, in the fall, I'm going to move it back indoor again, because I don't think uh, the lime tree can tolerate winter condition in Seattle. So uh, hopefully uh, this will burst into growth after this treatment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.